This is one of the cutest traffic lights you can see in the world, the Ampelmann. And people like to call it in a cuter way, the Ampelmännchen. But why does this actually exist? What was the story about it? Today, we can check it out. These two little symbols were created by a traffic psychologist called Pecklow back in 1961. Apparently before that, the traffic situation in Germany was quite chaotic. <gasps> Many accidents were happening daily, especially for the pedestrians. <laughs> Carl was a nice guy. He <laughs> can't bear it anymore. He said, das geht nicht. <laughs> so that he started to create different kinds of traffic lights layouts and the Ampelmann was one of them. So what was the concept mm -hmm. of the Ampelmann? Carl thought that the symbol of the traffic lights for pedestrian has to be eye-catching. People like children, elderly people or handicapped then might not be very sensitive with the traffic lights. Therefore, he created this realistic concrete scheme of a little man so that it's comprehensible for everybody. Luckily, his proposal was accepted and it was officially inaugurated in 1969 on Friedrichstraße, the former East Berlin, which is exactly where I'm standing on right now. Wow! Obviously, successful stories like this were never plain sailing. Followed by the German unification in 1990, people from the West wanted to standardize all traffic sites to the original West German forms. Of course, people from the East are not happy about it. Protests were happening, and usually, heroes popped up during difficult times like this. The savior of the Ampelmann, Markus Heckhausen, That's me. has came up. The former West German graphic designer was looking for new design possibilities in 1995. He came to East Berlin, he saw mm -hmm. these little men, and then he was like, Aha! Then he started to collect this mental ample mansion and then started to build lamps. Wow. After months of trying out and experimenting, he tried to contact the company of Ampelmann. And people from the company actually liked his marketing idea, so they gave him the chance. They had a little test with six lamp models, and you know what? What? People loved it. The Ampelmännchen has even became a virtual mascot for the East German nostalgia movement later on, which is known as Ostalgie. Obviously, the protests were very successful. The Ampelmännchen has finally returned to the pedestrian crossings. And the business of the brand Ampelmann went, of course, until today. The Ampelmann is still the symbol of Berlin. Um. They have their own restaurant, cafe and souvenir shop. <laughs> just because they are tourist favorites. The value in these two little men is tremendous, no matter from the business perspective or from the angle of history. The message I received after learning the whole story is the unyielding spirit. I hope that I can have the Ampelmann attitude on the things that I do during daily life. Nice. No matter what's the result going to be at the end, at least I'm convinced of what I'm doing and what I've done. That's what I learned from the Ampelmännchen. See you guys next week. Zahlen bitte. Actually, I also have two little Ampelmännchen at home. 
which is also kind of a German thing. Let me show you guys. 